Hi, I'm Jamie. I garden in a zone four. I live in central Minnesota. And thanks for clicking on this video and watching it as we bear through trying to get through the awkward stages of filming. <laughs> Anyways, so thanks for joining and I hope you will stick around. Hey guys, welcome back. Oh, I'm so excited. So I bought two bare root honey crisp apples but I got one for free so I have three honey crisp apples so I get to start my dream of having an orchard and I am I'm beyond excited I have always wanted an orchard especially apples one day I would love to have peaches but that will be a little bit further down the road Sorry, I have a distraction. Yeah, you're crappy. And I just, I am literally so excited. They're bare root, but they were a lot cheaper than buying like a full-fledged plant, which was hundreds of dollars more than what I could afford right now. My husband and I, we don't, we get by, but we don't make that much money to where we can afford that plant. So I was very much okay with raising my plant or my trees so they're big right and i am just so excited oh my gosh i found them on facebook marketplace there was it's quirky trees out of saint joe minnesota and he had some honey crisp apples for sale bare root and i was like i'll take two yeah i'll take two and they're just um they're just a really good like crunchy juicy crisp apple they're my husband's favorite apple so i will plant whatever my husband will eat so because you you always want to get your husband to eat more fruit and kitten hair they're hardy from a zone four to a zone eight they can be planted in a zone nine but they're sorry fire truck went by uh but they won't their fruit won't be as juicy or as sweet but you can get away with it and they like well-drained soil and they want full sun and they want to be well watered their first year because they are establishing their ruts in the ground so of course you want to water them very well and you want to regular regularly prune them but remember the 3d rule <laughs> prune damaged diseased or deformed branches so I mine are pretty small um, I tried filming them today but it's so windy and it's pretty darn cold the wind was out of the north and it shipped out of the west and that's kind of where my garden face faces is west and so it was just coming right at my face and of course did not do a very good camera angle <sighs> even using my tripod I didn't do a very good job Rosie disgruntled yeah, I love you and so um if I decided to use it I will put it in here somehow um otherwise we're just gonna botch that I was also trying to fill my the remaining of my garden beds but the wheelbarrow's got a flat tire so I texted husband even though he was at work I was like husband fix the tire it's flat I don't know what to do it's it couldn't find a little like whatever that's besides the point so anyways back to my stop back to my honey crisp apple trees they are resistant to bitter pit fire blight rosy and soft scald scaled scald i don't know how to pronounce it which is really good they're really good disease resistant trees but they are they are not immune to apple magnets maggots powdery mildew and sooty blotch don't give me that look unfortunately so you kind of you can do preventative spraying there is i know bonite or captain jacks i don't remember they make an organic dormant fruit like a dormant tree spray that you can spray on your uh trees or your fruit trees before they wake up and there is some that you, there is a fruit tree spray that you can spray 
mid like during the growing season but just caution of that because you don't want to hurt the pollinators so i like the review the, everything i read about the dormant tree spray i really like just because you spray it before the pollinators are active and we got to save our bees because we need to survive ourselves um if anyone has any different recommendations or comments uh, let me know below because I'm this is these are my first fruit trees. I have never ever grown fruit trees before, but I am so excited. Like, I am so excited. I remember I told my husband, he's like, Oh, um, oh, okay, so we have trees now. I was like, Yeah, we got trees. So, um, but I do know if you're going to spray the dormant tree spray, you want to spray it when it's above 40 degrees, I think, for a couple days. So, we we're dipping a little bit. We're getting into like in the upper 30s, mid 30s for the next week or so, which is fine. I can wait. I will buy the dormant tree spray um, probably next week. And I think, cause then after this week, we are going to, I think, uh, get, raise up in temperature again, which is really exciting. So there's that. I, ooh, my chair is sliding. Ah, I'm just, I'm, I'm so excited. I still have to research on how to prune fruit trees or what's the best fruit pruning trees. Cause there's one of the, one of the bare root trees has a really nice like leader stem and the other two have two nice leader stems. So I gotta figure out which prune job will be the better one. So there we go. I am, I'm so excited. I hope you guys will be excited too. Oh, and another thing, Honeycrisp apples, if stored properly, and I think if they store between 35 and 40 degrees in a root cellar, they can store up to seven to nine months, which is, I think, the longest storage apple, which is awesome. Like, that's so great. I think that's so great. And Another fun fact is that they, the Honeycrisp apple was created and introduced in 1991 at the University of Minnesota by some gentleman by the name of Something Bedford, which is really exciting because yay, Minnesota made something. And what's also really cool is the Honeycrisp apple did not need a campaign to uh, promote people to eat this apple. It was just very good itself. It was, uh, it just grew popular. And I think it became Minnesota's state fruit tree in 2006 if I remember reading that correctly so some knowledge for you if anyone else has anything else to add about honey crisp trees let me know below because like I said this is my first time so we will do this journey together as beginners intermediates whatever you want I'm I'm still learning how to garden every year it seems like so there we go and yeah, it's super cold and windy. I'm getting really tired of this wind. I'm trying to work in the garden, dang it. Anyways, that's all for now. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. And if you liked the video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, uh, comment if there's anything you want to add or if there's anything I ought to to know that you like, I don't know, so anyways, thanks guys.